Hello, Mr. Subhashish Mishra. Welcome to your PDA. Let's start yeah. your uh, SNAP interview on the subject power systems for your uh, OPTCL uh, interview preparation in the branch of electrical engineering, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Introduce yourself, please. Uh, sir, uh, uh, as my name is Subhashish Mishra. Uh, I have uh, recently completed my BTEC in 2024 from Odisha University of Technology and Research, formerly known as CET Bhubaneswar. And I have uh, done my schooling till 12 from Kendri Vidyalaya number one in Indonesia. And uh, throughout my uh, educational career, I have maintained a good academic record, uh, securing 10 CGPA in 10, and also 85% in 12, and also a good BTEC CGPA of 8.73. And uh, also in the first two years, I have uh, coordinated with uh, ISKCON Youth Forum for uh, organizing many motivational sessions uh, over uh, and many spiritual sessions. And uh, I've also participated in uh, some hackathons. And, uh, uh, and then uh, I have prepared for GATE and uh, I have secured uh, a good rank. And now so I want a PSU job. Uh, so that's it. So uh, currently you are doing job in PSU? No, sir. I'm preparing for the interview and uh, I'm also preparing for GATE 2025. Okay. Fine. Okay. Which generator is used uh, mostly for power generation? So, uh, the cylindrical rotor generation is uh, generator is used mostly for uh, power generation uh, because uh, power generation takes place at uh, high speed. So, uh, Always we thing. use uh, cylindrical rotor in all the yeah. station. Uh, no, sir. In uh, uh, thermal power plants, uh, which uh, where the turbine rotates at high speed, we can use cylindrical rotor. But in uh, hydro power plants, in hydroelectric power plants, we use uh, the silent pole rotors because they are. Uh, what happens the, if I use uh, cylindrical in uh, hydro also? Uh, sir, uh, in hydro power plants. Uh, so the speed is uh, low and uh, sir uh, due to which uh, uh, so the i think the capacity of the generator would be underused means there the salient pole rotor would uh, produce more magnetic field means as the number of poles are more no listen would be there. you are going in wrong direction okay sir. in hydro power plant as the speed is low then frequency will be low to increase the frequency to 50 hertz, we have to increase the number of poles. F is equal to Pn by 120, no? Yes, if N is less, I have to increase the number of poles. That incremented number of poles is easily can be done on salient pole than cylindrical rotor. Cylindrical rotor structure is not suitable for more poles on the rotor. Whereas yes, a cylindrical pole structure is suitable for more poles on its uh, periphery. Therefore, yes, we go for a salient pole machine, right? Yes, yeah, for uh, hydropower, for low head, which turbine is used? For low head, which turbine is used? Uh, I think uh, Kaplan turbine. Because, Why Kaplan? So because uh, Kaplan turbine can produce uh, more power at uh, low head as well. Uh, actually, I don't have that much idea on this. Turbines. Okay. Fine. In the nuclear power, power stations, uh, which nuclear reaction is used? Nuclear reaction or nuclear fission or fusion? So, the nuclear fission must be used because uh, their fusion would require a high amount of energy. So I think the uranium is used, so nuclear fission is used. Uh, for, uh, what is fission? The fission means uh, the breaking of uh, the nucleus to produce uh, more number of uh, neutrons but fusion is the combining of two nuclei of smaller atoms like hydrogen or helium so that requires a very higher higher amount of energy okay fine okay see uh what is the transmission line so transmission line is a uh, connecting line between the generating power station and the uh, distribution substation to transmit power between the generating power station and the distribution substation at very high voltage 
and low current uh, so has to incur uh, less losses and uh, more efficiency so what material we are uh, manufacturing transmission lines so we use uh, generally acsr conductors that is uh, al aluminium conductor steel reinforced so aluminium is used uh, for manufacturing transmission lines Hmm. Then why we are reinforcing with steel? So, so as to uh, increase its mechanical strength uh, so that uh, we can uh, decrease the sag and we can increase the ground clearance. And uh, that's why we are using the steel reinforcement because only aluminium, if you will use, then uh, its mechanical strength would be low and the sag has to be then kept high. Okay. Hmm. How to protect the transmission lines from uh, lightning surges? Uh, so at the top of the transmission line towers, there are lightning arresters, which uh, uh, on which the lightning surges, if they come, they strike on the lightning arrester, which are deviated into the ground. And if they somehow enter the transmission line even, then uh, there are surge arresters as well. Uh, which are uh, located at the substations. These surge arresters have uh, resistances which dissipate the energy of the surges and also they uh, relocate the energy of the surges to ground, uh, saving the transmission line. So you mean to say you are using sub, you you are uh, using uh, uh, surge arresters for transmission line? Is it? No, sir. Surge arresters are actually used uh, for the protection of uh, transformers and other substation equipments. For transmission line, we use lightning arresters, which are used at the top of the transmission line towers, at the topmost part. Mm. OK. Fine. How to improve power factor? Uh, so generally, in the industries, most of the loads are lagging. So the power factor is lagging. Uh, we can improve it by using uh, static uh, VR compensators as well as dynamic VR compensators as well as using facts. So for static VR compensators, we can install capacitor banks uh, through which we can in, in improve the power factor because capacitors, uh, they uh, deliver lagging Q, that is the, they deliver reactive power into the transmission line. Then we can use dynamic uh, VR compensators like a synchronous coil, synchronous condenser or synchronous phase advancer and uh, then we can also use uh, power electronic devices such as harrester controlled uh, uh, harrester switched capacitor for improving power factor. Uh, so, so these are some of the ways. Mm -hmm. Fine. Which fault is more severe fault? The triple L, the symmetrical LL, triple L fault is the most severe fault. And it is the more rare, most rarest fault as well. Uh, what is the way we are deciding its uh, severity? How we can say that it is more severe? How we are deciding its severity? Uh, so based on the uh, short circuit MBA, because... Uh, what is short circuit MBA? Sir? What is short circuit MBA? The short circuit MBA is the power that the... Uh, generator delivers to the uh, short circuit uh, means when the transmission lines are sorted in case of LLG or triple LG fault, then uh, the reactive uh, means the apparent power that the generator delivers to the fault uh, is the short circuit MVA. And uh, by the severity, by measuring how much is the short circuit MVA, we can uh, determine that which fault is most severe. Okay. Mm. Fine. So triple L fault is always uh, uh, dangerous, uh, always uh, severe fault at all the uh, places. The uh, the line to ground fault, uh, line to ground fault at the terminals of the generator is the most severe uh, because uh, here, uh, if the neutral is isolated, then the healthy phases uh, can uh, suffer uh, an increase in voltage that the voltage of the healthy phases can become root three times due to which the insulator bit, between the conductor and the ground can arc. This, that is called arcing ground. And this can cause a tri triple L fault. 
So uh, that's why LG fault at the uh, terminals of the generator is categorized as the most severe fault. Mm -hmm. Fine. What is the load flow study? Uh, so load flow study is the offline study of the power system uh, in which we determine uh, the voltage, uh, the uh, load angle, the uh, active power and the reactive power at all the nodes, that, that is all the buses of the power system network. That is the offline study. That is we take the snapshot of the entire power system at an instant and then we do the load flow analysis. Mm. Which method of load flow studies is uh, famous? Uh, so newton Napson. Uh, a uh, fast load decoupled method is most famous because uh, it gives the answer in uh, the least number of steps. Uh, so, and its convergence is also high. It means it also, it obviously converges, but it is very fast. So, so Newton Epson fast load decoupled method. Mm. Fine. Let me give you feedback, Mr. Subhashish Mr. Subhashish Mr. your knowledge is fine in power systems. Okay. Okay. And there are some other uh, things like what is skin effect, what is variant effect. Okay. Uh, what is uh, Corona? These kind of questions are also possible. And uh, grounding method, neutral grounding methods. What are the different neutral grounding methods? Use resistance grounding, reactance grounding, Peterson coil grounding. What are those uses? And uh, about the radio interference with uh, communication lines. These kind of questions are possible. Okay. But fine. Uh, overall, I tested your uh, knowledge. You have knowledge. So the way how you deliver is very, very important. Your delivery is also fine. Okay. All the best, Mr. Bashish Mr. Hmm? Uh, sir, any other thing, sir, means sir, any other thing I need to improve, sir? See, I feel, yes, you have concepts. The way you are delivering is also fine. Be confident. Be confident. Okay. If you see, one thing I, I, I want to tell you surely that if you don't know the answer, please do not bluff them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Simply tell them that, sir, politely, sir, I do not, uh, as of now, I am unable to recollect. Huh? That way you can tell. But uh, what major students will do is they start uh, telling something else just to fill that uh, answer, and, uh, like in exam. So that that cannot that should not be done. In fact, right? Okay, yeah, so. No,